video on a reminder of what we do when we come to the library and the ways that we show the 3Ds while we're in here. So first, when you come into the library, once you walk through that door, you should be quiet. I'm going to walk quietly. I'm just whispering. But I'm going to walk around the desk, not touching anything else, until I'm at the rainbow row. Sometimes your teacher will tell you where to be, but you know that you need to be in your square. So I'll find a square. If I'm finding it on my own, I'm going to sit down and squeeze into my little house. And then I'm ready to listen to a story. Once we're finished with the story, once you receive your shelf marker from a friend, you will stand up. And a quick reminder on our shelf markers. We don't want to bend these. We're not slapping them. We're not messing around with them. These are a tool that we use to make sure that we know where the books go. So when we look for a book, first what we do is we use our eyes to decide which spine we're looking for. Let's say I want to try this one. I'm going to put my shelf marker right next to the book. The shelf marker should stay there all by itself. Then I will hold it with one hand while I pull out the book that's right next to the shelf marker. Blaze and the Gray Spotted Pony. I have never seen this book before. I'm going to look at this book and see if it's the one I want. Mm, I do like the illustrations here, but I don't think this is the one I'm going to get today. So I'm going to put it back. And I know where it goes because my shelf marker is here. I'm going to make a little finger space, slide it in carefully. Now that it's back where it goes, now I can take out my shelf marker. So we'll look for one more book. Let's see, ooh, I think I might try this one. I'm gonna slide the shelf marker in, make sure it stays by itself, hold it here, and then pull out the book. Oh, I love this book, and many of you know this one, Extra Yarn, it's a favorite. This is the one I'm going to get today. So I'm going to pull out my shelf marker, and now I can put it away and grab my card, and we'll pretend that this is me today. I'm gonna walk over, again, I should still be being quiet. This is a library, this is not my time to talk to my friends about what book I got. I'm gonna come over. If I'm using the card, now older friends, you're gonna be typing in your number, but younger friends, you're gonna be using your card. So if you are using your card, I want you to hold it by the balloon, and then you're going to scan it. Don't put it on the counter. We're gonna pick it up and scan it like this. Your name will pop up and then you can scan your book. Once we have the book scanned, and sometimes I'm here to help you with that, or Mrs. Leong is here to help you with that, or a volunteer might be here to help you with that. We always wanna make sure, one more reminder, that whoever is here, we should be saying thank you to that person. We wanna think about the people that help us do what we need to do in the library. Then we will tell you where to sit. You'll either be sitting at a table or at my comfy chairs. So if you're sitting at a table, please make sure to use two hands to pull out the chair since these are bigger and then you will sit down once you are sitting do not move please now it's your time to read your book if you are sitting on my couches that's also great but please make sure that you are careful when you turn the pages when you do that one last reminder we turn our pages by the corner so that we make sure not to tear them if we turn from here they can get a little rip in them and then mrs chavez has to tape them and she doesn't really like doing that Friends, thanks. I love having you in the library, and I love that my flyers know how to do the 3Ds when they're in here.